Hello and welcome back to No BS. Today we return to talking about the latest Disney live action remake called Mulan. Mulan just came out on Disney's streaming service last weekend. It's getting mixed reactions to say the least. We previously talked about how some are boycotting the film because the main actor decided to side with the Far East nation, an adversary of ours, one who has a history of some very terrible health and human rights violations. And seeing the Mulan actor support Support them caused some people to decide to boycott the movie. In addition, today we're talking about more bad information about this production. In fact, a place that this movie filmed at was involved with some of those concentration camps where this Far East Middle Kingdom nation is interning some races that they don't quite like. Yeah, this is a pretty bad, pretty strange story, and it has a lot of moving parts too. So I want to start breaking it down and getting right into it right away. So let's go ahead and start with this article. It says, Live action Mulan was filmed in Xinjiang, nearby some Uyghur concentration camps. In the credits, they openly thank a CCP agency tasked with administering the camps. So with that said, I think we all could tell what's going on here. And after we get through some details, I want to talk about the movie some too. But essentially, this was supposed to be a pro-Chinese movie. It's based on a Chinese story. A character, Mulan, is from ancient China. And in the film, she's defending her country from these Mongolian invaders essentially but there's some other fantastical elements to it that come up and apparently as this tweet says and we'll get to more of the story apparently they filmed near some of these camps these camps are basic concentration camps they're taking these Uyghur people and interning them inside China this is essentially what happened to the Jewish people in World War II and other times throughout history when a certain group is pushed off to the side China's doing that in the present and apparently this movie filmed next to there and and even they openly thanked a communist agency who administers those camps. So they were in the credits. This is a very damning, very, very bad look for Disney for the movie. And this is why people are protesting this. It's a very, very biased production from Disney down to Mulan. I mean, they're really, really trying their best to adhere to China. They want to pander to that Middle Kingdom woke nation. The communists over there have a lot of power, a lot of money too. There's a billion people. There's a big industry in China. It's admittedly successful in many aspects like that, but it's also failing far worse in many other aspects, like having concentration camps, having civil rights violations, you know, making reporters disappear. And the previous story that was involved was when this actor was supporting the Chinese police over the actual protesters in Hong Kong. Hong Kong has been working to get itself more independence and more freedom, and China has been working to, to lock down that area. And that's another reason this movie came under fire. And with that said, let's go ahead and talk about the movie a little bit. I watched it over the weekend. It's uh, pretty much to be expected as we expected last week. It's a more serious, action-focused kind of version of Mulan. The original, of course, was a musical animated film for kids. It had a lot of comedy in it, too. And this movie does it. There's no humor pretty much at all. I mean, there's a few spots of a uh, laughs, and there's a few little, like, looks. But there's no jokes like the original one. The original one had Eddie Murphy playing a dragon as like the second main character. I think Mushu was the dragon's name and that was a total hit. And there was also some great big songs in it. The voice actress for the original Mulan was amazing and the new actress is pretty good. As you could see in this picture she's a pretty badass fighter. She's pretty hot too. Obviously she's good looking and that helps with the movie but the thing I noticed while watching it that kind of bugged me was first of all she just doesn't seem like that believable a hero. She's like too small and petite to me and in addition she also like when she shows up for the army like the basic premise is she tries to replace her dad who has to go to the army because of the war and she wants to take her dad's place because he's getting old and she wants to do it but typically women can't join the army this is like hundreds of years ago of course and the men were in charge of that realm so she had to pretend to be a boy when she shows up to army camp and i wasn't buying that part at all it really really bugged me when she she just showed up and her hair was up and that was it. And I was just like, she still looks like a girl, like all the way, like not even close. And I know eventually she wore some armor and it kind of looked better when they dressed him up a little bit. But that part really bugged me because that was a big part of the premise. And the whole thing was like, she had to go into the camp and she pretends to be a boy. And in the animated movie, it's not as easy to tell because yeah, I think she does her hair up too, but it's all animated and drawn. So you, you know, you can't tell as much when it's a guy and a girl, it's just kind 
kind of like when you're doing it with a cartoon, it's just about having long hair usually, maybe some makeup on. But in this case, in the live action, this was a detriment to the story. It really, really bugged me and it was hard to get past. But eventually it moved on and the movie, you know, it's mediocre. It's like the other live action ones. I could watch them, but they're pretty unnecessary. And it being that mediocre, being such a big budget thing, it's $200 million to produce. So that's definitely not a good sign. That's showing how unnecessary and unmotivated this was. This is basically a cash grab for Disney. And they're doing Mulan specifically now. Like they're definitely angling towards the Chinese market more too. Like obviously it's a Chinese set story. It's all Asian actors. You know, they're pandering as much as they can. They've got their own actors signaling up to support China. And then now they are giving thanks to these concentration camp runners in their credits. It's a really, really bad and messed up thing. And it sucks that the movie didn't even be worth it in the end. Disney remake of Mulan criticized for filming in Zhejiang. Disney's live action remake of Mulan, already the target of a boycott, has come under fire for filming in Zhejiang. The site of alleged widespread human rights abuses against the Uyghurs and other Muslim minorities. The film, directed by Nikki Caro, is an adaption of Disney's 98 animation about Hua Mulan, a young woman who disguises herself to fight in the Imperial Army in her father's stead. The remake attracted criticism when the actor Li Yufi, who plays Mulan, said she supported Hong Kong police and their often violent crackdowns on pro-democracy protesters. Now, this is again going back to what I said. She pretends to be a man to fight in the army. And not only was that not well done, but it was like, that's the whole reason they're doing this movie too. It's trying to be a big girl power thing. We haven't got to address that much because we have a lot of other parts here, but it's really, really big about saying, hey, girls can do what guys can do. You know, it's wrong to keep them out of the military. We need equality. It's like a feminist kind of message. And in addition, like some might even say, like there's a kind of alphabet aspect to this. Like it's a girl dressing up as a guy. There's like a T kind of message there, but that's not really part of it. She's obviously not trans transitioning or anything like that. It's just a hiding her identity so she can participate in the military. But like I said, they really did poorly on portraying that. Like her dressing up as a boy was not done at all. I don't know what they could have done if it needed like like a mask or makeup or something. Like I, that doesn't sound good to me either. But judging by what I saw, it was definitely, definitely not cool. And you know, it wasn't like the worst part, but it was just like weird. I was just like, why would this girl walk up and everyone's like pretending she's a boy? And you knew they were just thinking that because of the script and they had to but if you looked at her you're like no that's a girl it's obvious she's like almost too pretty for the part that was another thing I was thinking of when I watched the movie and I talked about it with my wife and you know we're just saying like she's almost too pretty and petite for this part now I get that they wanted a kind of bombshell actress like she's hot I get that but I don't know if Mulan necessarily needed someone this hot like I think it needed someone a little more athletic a little more you know maybe bigger you know like strong stronger, someone that could portray a boy and a girl better. Like this girl is just too feminine and not that there's anything wrong with that in general, but for this role, it kind of didn't work for me. And that's why I thought of other actors. I mean, these wouldn't work, but I can't think of a lot of Asian actors that might fit this role. But as far as general, like there's other actors I could have thought of that have similar kind of body types. Like for example, Ronda Rousey would be a good kind of Mulan character because she's pretty, but she's also fit and she has like more muscles, like she could see her going and pretending to be a man in the army. There's another actor that similar, like comes from sports too, that Gina Carano chick. She was in the Mandalorian TV series. That's another Disney Plus property. And she played that kind of similar character. She's like this badass chick. She's pretty fit and badass, but also kind of pretty. And you could see her playing a male soldier. And that's the kind of actor they needed for Mulan. Granted, I know it needs to be like a Chinese Asian actor, but those are two examples and ways this could have been done way better in my opinion. Turpan, whose police Disney thanked at the end of Mulan, is the first documented case of re-education against Muslim minorities in Zhejiang. This August 2013 doc speaks of the re-education of focus groups to eradicate the soil for the breeding and spread of religious extremism. So apparently China is against this religion too. We've also seen cases where they're against certain races, like during this whole pandemic, some stores started to exclude black people and say no black people allowed in the store. Uh, China has violated the rights of many reporters. Many uh, peaceful protesters in Hong Kong have faced trouble that they shouldn't have. They've been oppressed by the Chinese authorities, these communists. Um, as this article says, there's 
14 internment camps. They shared their script with Chinese authorities to get consultations, so they got everything approved by China. I mean, this is just a big, woke China fest. That was the obvious intent for this project. That's what Disney was going for. And it's just kind of lame to me. It's super messed up and hypocritical too, because these are the same kinds of leftists that say America is all racist and terrible and we're violent and we're hurting people. And they act like the cops are killing minorities or something like that. It's like, no, the people you're actually supporting do that. The people in China do that. There's an actual proof of it right here. We're talking about Chinese people getting interned, getting their religious freedom questioned, races are getting attacked. And then they also get a movie made for them, which really, really rubs me the wrong way. Like, I wish they could make an American movie like this. Like, can we make a movie about American history for once? Like a good, strong movie about, say, George Washington or some other American hero. Like, let's tell the story of Ben Franklin in a cool movie, you know? Like, let's get, what's his name? Paul Giamatti to play Ben Franklin. That would be awesome. But, you know, he already played John Adams in a TV show like a while back. I think it was on HBO. But it would be cool if you could do Franklin too, like something like that. And the reason I bring that up as an example is I know it'll never happen. No one wants to see pro America stuff right now because they're so anti America in Hollywood and the left. And that's what's really bothering me. It's it's like all you could see is this woke garbage being made for terrible communists who hurt people all the time. That about wraps things up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below. Also hit the like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe if you're new and let me know in the comments if you're seeing Mulan and agree with our thoughts on it right here. Thanks for your time today. Have a good one and see you on the next video.